the country. And good afternoon to you. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Right now, the city and suburbs are not in the high transmission zones where the CDC says even vaccinated people should mask up again indoors. WGN's Gainer Hall has more. In rare occasions, some vaccinated people infected with the Delta variant after vaccination may be contagious and spread the virus to others. This new science is worrisome and unfortunately warrants an update to our recommendations. The latest recommendation from the CDC, even people who are vaccinated should go back to wearing masks in indoor public settings in parts of the country where COVID-19 is surging. At an unrelated event in Chicago, Governor Pritzker says he'll review the guidance and again urged everyone to get vaccinated. I have not seen the changes. I know there are a variety of um, very particular changes regarding masking in particular, as I understand, for people who may have some pre-existing conditions who are already vaccinated. Uh, so I'll be reviewing all of it. And, you know, as you know, we have followed the CDC science and guidelines uh, since we moved to phase five. Uh, we continue to look at that scientific evidence for how we will operate in the state of Illinois. Health Commissioner Dr. Allison Arwadi says 97% of COVID-19 deaths and hospitalizations in Chicago are among the unvaccinated. She says the virus is still under control in the city, but that's not the case in other parts of the country. Chicago's expanded travel advisory map now includes four states. I want people to be concerned, but but I don't want there to be unnecessary uh, panic at this point. I just want to make sure people get vaccinated. But in the next few days, Arwadi says the city will likely cross 200 cases a day falling into the moderate risk category. The threshold Mayor Lightfoot has said could prompt another mask mandate and other restrictions. And starting Thursday, 100,000 people are expected to pack Grant Park each day for Lollapalooza. I can't promise that there won't be any COVID cases associated with Lala. When you're having this many folks who are coming through, almost certainly there will be some cases. Uh, but I'm confident that the combination of what we know about limiting risk in outdoor settings, uh, pairing that with vaccination um, and or testing, and ideally mostly vaccination, which is what we expect, as well as all the other mitigation factors. Um, you know, I'm certainly hopeful that we won't. And other developments today, the CDC is also recommending that all students, teachers and staff wear masks in school everywhere, whether they are vaccinated or not. And with this new guidance on masks, CDC officials saying vaccination is still the most effective way to control the pandemic. So that's the very latest reporting live outside City Hall tonight, Gainer Hall.